Okay, so of course we're going to be able to use logarithms to solve problems. So in this last example, let's see, we've got the seismic energy x in joules can be estimated based on the magnitude m of an earthquake by the formula x equals 10 raised to the power of 1.5 m plus 12. What is the magnitude, so that's m, what is the magnitude of an earthquake with a seismic energy of 4.2 times 10 to the 20th power joules? So this is the seismic energy, which is x. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our equation and we're going to substitute in for x the 4.2 times 10 to the 20th power. So that's just scientific notation. That's a really big number. If you were to put this into what we call standard form to get out of scientific notation, you would take this decimal and you would move it 20 spots to the right, making this a really, really, really big number. So scientific notation is a shortcut. It's a shortcut way to write really big numbers or really small numbers that would have like a decimal and a bunch of zeros and then like a four and a two. Okay, so we're gonna plug that in for x. Great, we did that. Let's keep writing our equation. Equals 10 to the 1.5 m plus 12 power. Okay, let's solve the equation. Well, the variable we are solving for is in the exponent position, so we can use logarithms to solve. Um, just, just so we keep seeing it and we keep thinking about it, let's just talk about the structure of exponent form. In our exponent, this is the base. This is the exponent and this is the result. So in log form, we would say log base 10. Well, that's a common logarithm, so we don't have to write the base, ta base 10. So log of the result, I'm going to put this in parentheses, 4.2 times 10 to the 20th power is equal to our exponent, 1.5m plus 12. Alright, so at this point, I would say grab your calculator, let's figure out this number. And even though you're just taking notes right now, um, make sure you can get this with your calculator. You know, if you just are writing down what I'm writing down, you know, you might just be, it'll just make the day easier when you're doing this on your own because you've already checked your calculator skills. Can you type in log of 4.2 times 10 to the 20th power? So if you type that in, see if you get 20 point, let's see, I'm going to go four numbers after the decimal, 6232 two, equals 1.5m plus 12. And now we're just solving for m. We're going to subtract 12 from both sides. That's going to give us 8.6232 equals 1.5m. Divide both sides by 1.5. So we have m is equal to, um, now I'm just going to run to two decimal places for my final answer, 5.75. It's never a bad idea when you guys are working through a problem. Err on the side of more decimal places. The more numbers you use after your decimal, um, the more accurate your final answer would be. All right, so if m equals 5.75, what does that mean in the context of this problem? Um, that means that the magnitude of the earthquake is 5.75.